Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How y'all doing? Um, how are you? Uh, if you remember last time, we, um, what did we do? Oh yeah, we defended the fortress here. Um, I spent a few days just camping outside, because it was nice. It was nice. Why not camp? I mean, our crew did. <laughs> because I wanted to build up our garrison, so let's run over to our garrison in a second. And if you look at the barracks, we're going to perform a head count. Um, your barracks has reached its upper capacity of 500 soldiers, a very impressive, impressive battalion, which would be a formidable force in any battle. So we maxed out our um, fortress, our barracks. I wanted to do that a moment. And our next step is we have to go... The map's kind of fucked up. We have to go to Zilapa so that we can get ready to make our push onto... Um, we're making our push on to, oh yeah, to Mexico City, so we can finally destroy the Aztecs once and for all. So I will meet you there. All right, here we are. We're going to go talk to our ally, the leader of the allies. Again, Tepic Totan comes out of the palace to meet with you in the courtyard and lead you inside. He walks at a brisk pace, hands mostly folded on his stomach, but occasionally flitting up to rub one of his earlobes. Does that mean he's hitting on me? Good to see you! Good to see that you've returned safely, my friend. You are confident that your fortress will withstand any Aztec attack? Carlos Dick Sucker's taking care of it, friend. In fact, Carlos arrived at the fortress not long before such an attack took place. We stood our ground and kick Aztec ass. The fortress is safe. Topeak Titan shakes his head and looks quite distracted. Marvelous, marvelous. So we march on Tanichi Cloud, then. Uh, you will be with us until the end, I hope? Um, of course, Chief. We won't let you down. With this earth and causeways, Tanishi Kaland is dangerously defendable. We'll launch a thousand canoes along Lake Texcoco to draw the majority of the Aztec force away from the island. You will lead the first assault across the causeways. That sounds risky, bro. Yes, but risky is a bit of your specialty of yours, is it not? Once you are inside the city, you will take the palace while the main body of the army secures the city. The objective is to kill or capture Emperor Montezuma. When we have the Emperor, we have the city. Uh, all right, dude, when do we leave? He rings his hands. As soon as possible. When you leave here, I will give the word and my army will march to Tenichi Kalan. We will secure the shore of the lake and establish our encampment there so we are ready to attack when you are. Excellent. Then I shall make my own preparations. Good luck, chief. To you as well. Oh, and Capitan Dex Sekiro, please keep my daughter safe. Yeah, sure. I, I'm on that. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, bro. Mmm, that's what, that's a conquistador saying. <laughs> Conquistadors say that shit all the time. <laughs> They're always talking about chicken wings and fried chicken. I want some church's chicken. Somebody want to bring me some? If you showed up, like, because I've recorded this a little bit before, you'd show up with chicken and be like, here's your chicken. I'd be like, who are you? I don't know you. You're a stranger. Don't touch me. In the evening, Coyote enters your tent, followed by a dark cloud. There's clouds in my tent. There is something we must discuss. What's wrong, dude? I don't remember my voice. Coyote's voice carries accusatory undertones. Far removed from his usual darkly amused cynicism. A war is coming, fueled by your actions, and you have allied yourselves with the enemies of my people. That's why I wondered why you wanted to join me, dude. You've earned my gratitude in Tex Coco, and you have proven yourself a good leader, worthy of my respect. That is why I've come to tell you I am leaving to aid in the defense of Tenichi Tolan. No, no, we need you, dude. You're our best warrior. You can't leave. We need you. He smiles with a hint of his old sarcasm. You are warriors, and you do not require my protection. The people of Tenichi Talan, the farmers, the artisans, they are far too ch few champions willing to fight for them. Next time we meet, it will be on opposite sides of battle. I wish you good luck, nevertheless. I'm like, you can't leave me. I need you. It doesn't have to be this way. You could bleed me. Deaf to your pleas, Coyote le le turns his back on you and leaves like everyone else you ever loved. You he leaves your tent with great determination. He has already packed his belongings and swiftly disappears into the wilderness, doubtlessly heading back to the great city. Fuck. He was like... He was like our uber warrior. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Some people need to be promoted then. Um... Laszlo will promote you. Here you get, can you get Keen? We'll give you Keen. So um, you can shoot through some armor and shit. We'll make you a veteran. We'll give you fortune favor. Your crit chance is increased. 
Okay, and then let's give out the equipment. Let's see, Martinez, are you stacked? You're stacked now. Valencia is. Make sure our A team is. Um, and is not anymore. Let's see, Raphael, you're pretty good. Gabriella, you are. Well, Sierra. Okay, we're gonna stack you up here, Sierra. And then, uh, I guess the annoying Laszlo. <laughs> That's not my name. <laughs> The annoying Laszlo will give him some points. I guess he's going to take the place of Koyoto. Koyoto was kick-ass, though. I'd have Anna back, but I've really come to like, as they get better, the, um, the veteran soldiers with the stun ability. It stuns me how awesome it is. All right, we still got a ways to, to march. Um, I'll meet you there. Well, we're almost there. At least Koyoto, I think, gave us the equipment back. I hope we don't have, really have to fight him. He was a kick-ass warrior. Sucks that he left us to go defend for the Aztecs. See, there's the causeway into the city, or one of them. I reckon this is the guy we gotta fight, probably. Let us in. When you arrive, the war has already been underway for a few days. The Aztec army has withdrawn to the island where they have dug in, and all that separates the Totonac army from Tichi to, to Nichi Mexico City now is the highly defendable causeways that connect the island to the mainland. You're led to Tepe Totan, who stands on a hill near the lakeside, scouting across the lake with a hand shading in his eyes. As soon as you reach him, he speaks to you without turning. I have long imagined standing in this very spot, looking over this magnificent city. I never dreamed it would happen so soon, however. This is all thanks to you, Carlos Dick Sucaro. Uh, how fares the war, dude? He finally lowers his hand and turns to face you. He looks slightly overwhelmed by emotion. Thousands have died on Lake Texcoco. We've sent our canoes, they sent theirs. The island's impenetrable. We will never break through the defenses on the causeways. Hmm, a small heavily armored unit might, like my dick in an iron condom. Your troops, yes, that's my hope. Yeah, I call it my pants troops. Once the causeway is broken, we still stand a chance, but it'll be a difficult battle. Yeah, whatever. Of course the Aztec elite will be defending Matsuzuma's palace. I'm not confident that my warriors can stand against all the eagle warriors of Tenichi clan. But you might have a chance. We might get to Talantino at all costs. As long as he lives, Tenichi clan will still stand. What? Um, I, it'll be my pleasure to aid you by killing Montezuma. He nods solemnly and extends his hand. I consider you a great personal friend. My friend is gold. Are you made of gold? And a close ally, you and yours will be richly rewarded once I can drone Tenichi Kulan, and the bond between our nations shall be unbreakable. Um, tactics medium. Dude, send your archers out in your remaining canoes. I will draw their attention so you can get close enough to rain arrows down on them. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. You lay out your exact plans to Tepi, and he gradually lights up as he understands the solidarity of your ruse. Solidity of your ruse. At the end of your briefing, I don't look at most of the words. I look at two or three letters and assume I know what the word is. At the end of your briefing, you're fairly confident that his archers will be able to pull off the maneuver to your specifications. Let us hesitate no longer. We will clear the causeway now. You give the words to, to Peak Totan and assemble your troops where the causeway meets the mainland. Just as you're considering whether to launch into a rousing speech, a voice rings out from across the earthen bridge. Dick Sucker Carlos Dick Sucker I'm calling you out. <laughs> the High General of the Aztecs stands in front of the heavily entrenched defenders of the causeway. I am the ultimate Aztec warrior. <laughs> he is clad in the garb of an eagle warrior, and his posture is powerful. The base of his ornate jade spear resting on the ground before him. Long have you sown discord among the people of these lands with lies and deceit. You meddle in affairs that do not concern you. With these tools, you seek to bring about the destruction of our great empire. Um, where's your emperor? Um, doesn't he dare face me? Quapi sweeps his hand in a wide arc in front of him in a dismiss dismissive gesture, exaggerated to leave no room for ambigu <laughs> ambiguity ambiguity even at this distance. You are not worthy to face the great Montezuma, you wretched pair endeavor. You're not even worthy to meet the end. Uh, meet your end upon the tip of my spear. Suck my spear tip. Look, you're all just savages to me, General. Your great empire is nothing compared to the technology of Europe. Suck it on windmills. The High General turns the spear and thrusts it into the dirt. 
Sorry, you missed me. You killed the ground. That's not me. Then he folds his arms and crosses his chest and raises his chin. The Aztec Empire is protected by the hand of fate. Let us see how your must gives fair against the 10,000 invincible warriors of Tenichi to Lord. Quapi picks up his spear and throws it down the causeway towards you. It lands an impressive distance down the earthen bridge, embedding itself in the tightly packed soil with an audible thwomp. A loud cheer rings out from his warriors as he attacks the causeway. As he turns his back on you, arms in the air, and they part before him as he leaves. Let's launch the assault. Oh, launch the assault. Your people form up and march down the causeway. As expected, the Aztec defenders quickly mobilize at their forward defenses, focusing all of their attention on your combat group without realizing that a dozen canoes carrying Totonac archers are cutting through the calm waters of Lake Texcoco on either side of them. Surprise! With perfect timing, the archers loose their volley just as the defenders pop up to take their first shot at you. The defenders scramble for cover, but several of them fall to the dense hail of arrows, and just as the cruel rain passes, your troops are upon them. Begin the battle! Raphael, Pilar, Gabriel, Martinez, oh, and Laszlo. Oh, great! I need to go fight in the battle! I miss, I miss uh, the other guy already, Coyotl. Oh, Laszlo. Now I like to fight! I like to help! I once tried to have sex with a chipmunk! Laszlo, I think you need help. The chipmunk did after I had sex with him. Oh, God. Laszlo, can you be on the front lines, please? Can you stand in front of the cannon? Oh, fuck. I didn't bother changing what we were bringing. Can we set up spike traps? Not up front. Preparation phase. Preparation H. Um, put you up there. Put you up there. We're not going to have anybody fast. Alright, we're good. Okay, um, run up there. Can you hit anybody? Shoot him. Nice! Um, can you shoot at that guy too? From there? Yeah! Sweet! Then, um, can you attack this thing? Oh, I guess you can next time. See, we'll just have those guys go up and go out and interrupt. Interrupt us when somebody's having a dinner party and you're like, Nope, I have to interrupt with a boring story about my penis. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna throw a lantern on that guy. I didn't really need to, but I just wanted to be a dick. <laughs> like, lantern catch! <laughs> hey, it's not a battle if we're not burning people. Hey, yeah, you can see some guys kind of laying on the ground. At least I think that's what it was. Don't shoot at me, dick burger. This is my causeway. We're going to name it the George Washington Lopez oh. Causeway. Uh, let's see if there is a dead guy. I think there is. Yeah. He must have got killed by the arrow, the rain of arrows. Oh, your causeway is burning. Apparently dirt burns. Uh, let's try and shoot this butt munch. Just catch. Ooh, good job, Gabriella. You deserve a cookie. That's how I reward my army. Oh, fuck, that butt munch moved. Butt munchio. I'm just going to interrupt. All right, Rita, smack this barricade. Yeah, do it like Coyotl would when I accidentally destroyed my own shit. Nice. That's how you reward your people. They like to hear it reinforcing the words. Nice job. <laughs> oh, I'm going to save some lanterns. I want to drop more on them, but we might need these for later. I'm guessing the fighting is going to get worse later on. Especially when we get into the city. Well, what the hell was that? It was like, look left, look right, look left. No, don't go back and get healed. Come back, you fucking asshole. Burn, burn, burn. All right. Smack attack. Good job. Get up here. Good deal. Oh, you didn't break through it. Wasn't a good deal at all. Um, yeah, I guess you come up here and interrupt. You too. Um, I guess let's just smack these other barricades. We're the wrecking crew! Yeah! She's like, suck on that barricade. Burn! 
<laughs> no, don't do that. That's mean. Do you believe these Aztecs? Why aren't they going to bow to our technological superiority? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Oh, wait, you can shoot at Laszlo. Don't go back and get healed. Don't go back and get healed, you... That sucks. We beat him up, and he gets to run way back there, and I bet you they heal him. Alright, um... Ooh, ow! Oh, I just landed on something. My balls are not a couch seat. Not on a couch, I'm not on a chair. They're not a chair cushion. I just, when I get confused, I just start yelling out words. Apple dumpling surprise! <laughs> I think that was smooth. <laughs> I think she's gonna like that. Alright, uh, can we double shot this? Oh no, it was only a 14% chance. That was stupid of me. Next time, maybe I should look at what I'm doing. Okay, what about you? You get up there and. Can you have a better double shot attack? Yeah, that's why you better. Good job, Raphael. Oh. Not good enough. Okay, Rita Martinez, you just get up there. Um. You're gonna run this way. I don't wanna run into the fire. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew they were gonna heal that dork. That sucks. Oh, no, no, no. I kinda almost wish I didn't drop the fire now, because there are people. Oh, no! Holy crap, that hit hard. Yeah. No! Alright, I'm mad. Gabriella, oops. Oh, it's not her turn yet. Holy fuck. I wanna hit from that far away. Alright, um. Raphael, you're mad. So you're gonna kick this guy into the fire. Sucks of fire, dick! Oh no, you just crushed his nads! <laughs> crushed his nads and murdered him. It was the nad murder. Alright, I guess, um, oh, wait, okay, first of all, don't run into the fire. They will do it if you're not careful. Okay, um, Raphael, did you go? Yeah. What about you, Gabriella? You get shot on anybody up here? <clears throat> nice! And, um, I guess you just pull back here, too. There's that dirty shaman that healed our enemy. He's not very nice to us at all. <laughs> Remember, when people are subjugating you and burning your village, be nice to them. At least if it's me <laughs> doing that to your village. Uh, I should say Carlos Dick Zuckero. Oh, what the hell? Is that poison? Alright. Surprise, gangbang. People love those. <laughs> Surprise! All right, let's uh, go do a stun attack on. I guess we'll do a stun attack on the warrior. He probably hits harder. Oh, sweet. Can you get up there, Rita? No. But you can get up there and shoot. Bang bangs. Okay, let's get our gun people up here. They're bound to be able to hit that. Yeah. Should have been shooting at the other guy, though, if I would have thought better. Oh, we'll try and... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. At least the person's stunned. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Oh. There we go. That's gonna be my battle cry or what people remember most from this LP. Oh no, I hit the wrong button! Oh, I screwed up again. Alright, it's okay. You can stab Lazlo all you want, um, Aztecs. You'll be like, somebody's my friend! They put a knife in me! 
I like being friendly. Uh, shut up, Laszlo. <laughs> Holy shit, Laszlo was mad. He took it out on her. Quit saying mean things about me. So the voices in my head say. Okay, Laszlo, you're creeping me out. Go, Laszlo, go. Okay, Sierra, let's run up there. Probably gonna have to start looking for traps soon. I don't know if there are any up here or not. Uh, can you run up there and shoot anybody? You hit that shaman? Ah! Holy crap, that was a good shot. Any chance you can do the same? It's worth a try. Ah! Holy crap, yeah. Go, dude, go. Oh, you already done, Pilar? Oh, yep. Yeah, now who's gonna heal you, shaman? Unless there's another one, then don't curse. That's mean. Putting a curse on Raphael. I'll put a curse on you. You're a f fucking stinky butthole. <laughs> My curse isn't very good. I don't think it even hurts their feelings. Okay. Um. Fucking poison people. That's mean. I wish we had Coyote. That dude was a badass. Hopefully he doesn't ruin us when we meet him, because he said we're going to meet eventually. Ah, oh, miss. Alright, Sierra, get up here. Oh, poop. Can you keep going? Ah, oh. Alright, can you... Oh, you can't look for traps. Can you look for traps? I mean, at least it wasn't a spike tr pit. Oh, okay, there's some... Oh, there's more of those. <laughs> Am I missing somebody? Oh, I forgot I left two people behind. Oh, I forgot Laszlo. How could I forget him? Don't forget me! I'm the funnest! No, you're not, Laszlo. Wanna play games? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't, Laszlo. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I wish I had that attack. That's bad. That's all bad. Alright, you stun this butthead. Okay, you move there. Oh, Mark Eldrop's great. Come on, Rita. The badass horse lady. Come up here and stab him. Nice. Um, see, can you hit him from there? No, did I you hit this guy? Nope. Come on, that's gotta be the right angle. Oh, shit. Hey, you can still shoot, though. You can shoot twice. Ow. Well, I can miss is really what I can do, I guess. You got some extra moves. Go step on those. Ow, my feet. Sorry, Pilar. Hey, Laszlo, do you want to step? Oh, where are you? Lastly, you want to step on them? Right there. Oh, I don't like this game! It's hurting my feet! It makes them bleed! <laughs> Shut up, Laszlo. You dork. I kind of wish that they could step on the traps, too, so they'd have to, like, avoid those spots, but... Nice. I was actually hoping it was going to be nicer, but whatever. You block nothing. You die now. Uh, let's look for traps. Traps? Traps? Okay, Rita, can you... Oh, you can't. Can you... Laszlo, lead the charge. Okay, see if you can shoot your Laszlo gun at him. Holy crap, Laszlo. You got the Fury of the Rage. Laszlo Rage. Um. Okay, Raphael, can you hit anybody? Okay, go after the person with the easier shot. Sweet. Man, these people are a little beat up. I don't like that. Hooray! 
Some of the people at least are using cover. I'd rather they didn't, but still. Nah, you can hit Laszlo all you want. Nobody gives a fuck about him. <laughs> he hits pretty hard, though. It's all his rage that constantly getting picked on. Run into some traps so we don't have to. We'll just put her on interrupt. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked on the wrong person. Oh well. Such is life. Do it, Pilar. Sweet. Oh man. Dang, they're pretty accurate with some of the bows. At least I feel like it. I haven't really like charted it statistically, but seems like it to me. All right, um, Pilar. Probably can't close all that distance, can you? Oh, Caltropes. Oh, fuck it. Just run as far as you can. Oh, Caltropes. <laughs> yeah, there can't be any more, I'm sure. Oh, there weren't. Rita. Okay, uh, Sierra. Ah, <laughs> Laszlo. Uh, keep walking, Laszlo. Let's clear any of these out so the other people can move faster. Ah, sucks to be you. No shots. Oh, good shot. Let's move you up here. Uh... Come on, Gabriella. Waste this dude. It's a sergeant, apparently. Ooh. That guy's tough, though, man. He's just like, I'll take some bullets, whatever. That's how I roll. I'll walk it off. Oh, no, don't do this. Oh, oh God. That attack at the right time could destroy, like, half our unit. So far, everybody's alive. That's not bound to continue. Okay, Pilar, you go up there and stun that guy with your stunning slappery. Boop. That was, I don't know, that was a, I don't know what that sound was supposed to be. Okay, can't shoot him. Can you get two shots on him? Really unlikely, I guess. Oh, good deal. Um, oh, was that Raphael? I don't... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I guess we'll have other people run up. I guess, Sierra, you can stay back there. I don't want to put you up too far, Gabriella. I think she might get killed. Oh well, we can try. Oh, oh shit. Oh man, that's not good. Okay, you, Laszlo, you stun this dude. We gotta do it, cause like, Raphael is almost gone. So you might as well get like one shot left before the poison finishes him off. Holy hell. Yeah, uh, you can finish them off, Pilar. And come on, Gabriella, just unload into this guy. Because he wants to unload into you. <laughs> you know. Oh, come on, woman. It's not that hard. That's what she said. That's why I cried. Um, you run up there and stun that guy. Rita, attack! She was like, your horse beauty stuns me. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered either way. The poison would have got him there. That sucks, though. All right. 
Mission. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Pilar, get vengeance for um, Raphael. Oh shit, they have spike traps. That's brutal. Look at all these people wiggling. It's a wiggle party. We'll be wiggling. All right, can you hit that? No. There, maybe? Well, you're not going to get an angle then. So don't interrupt. Yeah. Let's just hope there's no spike trap right there. Should have stunned the person, but I didn't really think well enough. Oh, it doesn't matter. Rita can save the day. Horse attack! Lopez is harmless ballistic trauma. Hopefully we can rest before the next phase. I think we can, though. Get him healed. Under your unwavering command, your troops plow through the Aztec defenses, paving the way for the bulk of the Totonac army to follow close behind you. Topeak Teton's forces spill into the enormous city, spreading out into its many districts. Topeak Teton himself somehow finds you in the chaos to update you on the strategic situation. Fantastic work, Carlos de Sacro. My warriors have full access to the city now. All access passes. Woo! But the Aztecs will fight to the last breath while Montezuma lives. Your troops must lead the assault on the palace, but there is another problem. All right. It would appear to lax Calteca. Warriors have fortified themselves in the market, and our tactical position is in great jeopardy while they hold such a central position. Your people have to uproot the Telex Calteca, or there's no way I'll be able to take and hold the city. I understood. He shakes your hand with an unsettling sense of finality. Good luck, my friend. We're all counting on you. As you head back out to the out the gate into the city, Gabriella Ibero catches up to you. Capitan, we cannot fight two battles at the same time. You have to put someone else in command of the group of Tepiki Tetons, Jaguar warriors, and either send them to either assault the market or the palace. Otherwise, this will end a disaster. All right, very well. I'll point somebody to handle the other battle. Um, we'll let Nikali do it. He he's probably speaks the language. He's a native. What battle shall I lead, Captain? Capitan... Um, I'm going to take the palace, you take the market, dude. Nikali salutes you and heads into the city ahead of a group of Topeak Teton's elite Jaguar warriors. Alright, next time we're going to go in and we're going to assault the palace. Uh, in the meantime, let's see, Raphael needs to be healed. Um, let's see if that'll heal him up. Oh, sweet, Raphael is healed. So next time we'll go into the place and we'll attack Montezuma's palace. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Conquistadors away!